Hello everyone, welcome back. Got something special for you today. We're gonna to be looking at the Booster Box Corset 2020. Just got it in fresh. Don't forget to swing by your local game store. You can pick up one of these beauties right here. You can only get it by going to a sanction store, which is that's exactly what I went to. I went to uh, Gideon Games and picked up this box. Support your local store, get one of these. And I'm a legendary hunter, so I needed it and I got it. I'm super happy with it too. I like it. Now, without further ado, I think I got some bugs worked out in my system. I want to bring this to you and I want to start cracking packs. Let's get into this. What shall I use? to crack open these packs today. I'll use this again. All right guys, uh, from the last video that I did, I asked if any of you is new what this was from. Um, if I'm not for, hang on, what, Dragon Age is what this little thing's from if you didn't get it in the last video. Now, let's crack some packs. I know a lot of you out there, how did you do uh, in your your pre-release? How did you just get to do? Have you just pulled anything good, golden? I'm, uh, I'm sure excited for this set. Um, if you missed my last set, I went over uh, a bunch of things that I like about this set. Um, I'm really excited for it. There's not a whole lot that I don't like in this set. Uh, you have ley lines, you've got good planeswalkers, you've got, it's just a bunch of goodness. Um, and I'm really happy that there is a set where I can pretty much be happy with whatever I pull, no matter the value, and that that's big for me. I was going to try to play some music in the background using the, the Xbox system, but uh, I don't know, kind of getting sidetracked. So onward, we'll start with you, awesome, hoping for some good stuff here. Wow. Maybe I opened it backwards or something. Okay. We're just gonna kind of speed through our commons and uncommons unless I see something that really just kind of sticks out to me. Okay, this guy right here. Um, they did a misprint on this. Mine is correct, uh, so I didn't get one. But in the bottom corner there, uh, on some people's, it says two, three. Come on camera, you know you can focus. You can do it. Okay, so I'm just using my phone. So anyways, uh, this is a 2-2 two, two, and that's correct, but in some cases it comes out as a 2-3, which is incorrect. And if you're playing a game with this card, even if yours says 2-3, it's a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, but that's something to keep a lookout on. Uh, Goblin Ringleader got reprinted. I'm gonna try to stay in the camera. And Dread Presence. Uh, this card is seeing some attention because of, um, oh, what's that card called? It's a, anyway, it's, it's a green card that lets you sack a bunch of lands, go get a bunch of lands. I'm really bad with names, guys, so just work with me on this. Um, it's Dread Presence. It's three and a black for a three, three. Whenever a swamp enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. You draw a card and lose one life or uh, dead, dread presence deals two damage to any target and you gain two life. That is awesome. It's a good card. Good card. Stick that in our little rare pile. Uh, then land and token. Um, I don't know if you all heard my little rant in the last video, but I love the tokens. I think they're awesome. Uh, I just love how they went full art with them. Uh, extended. I don't think it takes any extra effort, and I, I'm in love with these. Uh, I've been, I'm going to collect them. I'm going to love them. I'm going to treat them like babies. All the babies. Okay, first pack down. Not bad. Okay, uh, while we're thinking about it, uh, some of the things I want to pull in this set. I want to pull Ley Lines. I want to pull Chandra. I want to pull Steel Overseers. Um, there's a lot of reprints. Um, what's that? Graph Digger's Cage is a good one. There's a lot of really good reprints that uh, I'd like to see a few of. I like this card, I think it's good. Uh, two drop, one, two, flyer, whenever it attacks, create a one, one white soldier creature token that tapped attacking. And our rare 
is Field of the Dead. Now, I personally don't like this card. Um, other people seem to like it. Uh, it's a land, enters battlefield tapped, you can tap for colors. Whenever Field of the Dead or another land enters battlefield under your control, if you control seven or more lands with different names, create a 2-2 black zombie. So, they're running this in gates. Uh, woo, treasure. Uh, they're running it in some kind of gates deck, and that's cool. Um, it's not really something I want, but cool. We're going to move right along. So, uh, what, are you, what are you guys thinking about building in this set? Are you going to homebrew? I know a lot of people, whenever they come across to a new set, they want to build out of nothing but the new set. Uh, Pattern Marcher. Scholar of Ages. Mask of Emulation. And, for our rare, is the Temple of Mystery. Blue Green Skyland. Not bad. Wolf Token. Gotta love the Skylands uh, being bought, brought back. I uh, would like to be hopeful and think that they're gonna bring back uh, fetches, but I think we all know that probably ain't happening in, in a standard set. Not anytime soon, anyway. Grusgolm Scourger. Renowned Weaponsmith. Scuttlemutt. And a Tails End. Two drop counter target activate ability, triggered ability, or legendary spell. Put this on an Ice Crown Scepter in Commander and never let them cast it again. With a Foil Fire Elemental. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's supposed to be more uh, foils in this set. Uh, supposed to be like one in every three now, I think. So, uh, that's cool. That'll see play. So one in every three, huh? I don't think it's gonna mess around with the value of the rares too much. Uh, Chandra, uh, internal isolation, eternal isolation. Uh, Salvager of ruins. And a Flood of Tears. Six drop, return all land permanents to their owner's hands, non-land permanents, hands if you return four or more non-token permanents. You control this way, you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. Good card, good commander card. With a Foil Rapacious Dragon. Rawr! Oh, and a big old golem. Very nice, very nice. I know uh, someone who might be looking for this one. I pulled one in my uh, fat pack, so I'm okay with that. Woo! No mythics yet, but we'll get there. I don't think many mythics. I did pull a mythic, I didn't realize it was a mythic. I guess the buy box is a mythic. I like that card. Okay, uh, Thrashing Brontodon. A uh, nice reprint. I'm okay with it. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't mind for more. Uh, the promo is this as well. We got a renowned weaponsmith. Oh, I'll close it back. I don't know which one it is, but I think we know what's coming. A retribution wand with a... Oh, oh, there it is, boys. It is a Chandra Awakened Inferno. For six mana, the spell can't be countered. Each opponent gets an emblem with, at the beginning of your upkeep, <laughs> this creature deals one damage to you. Minus three, Chandra the, uh, the Fender, Inferno, oh, I'm excited, does three damage to each non-elemental creature. And for her ultimate, minus X, uh, Chandra deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker. If a permanent dealt damage this way would die, exile it. Oh, let's... Uh, Let's not go too far here. Let's get our handy dandy, perfect fit Dragon Shield Smokes. Picked up from our local game store, Gideon Games. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That right there, there's, uh, there's one third of the box. Let's pull a couple more of those. There's our mythic. Oh, 
and uh, land and a soldier token. Very, very nice there, guys. Uh, and she is going up in price. I don't know if uh, any of you have uh, really been paying much attention, but I remember seeing it like day one or something. Um, whenever you could start pre-ordering it, she was 19, and now she's she's almost up to 30. Um, and I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Oh, that was. That was good. I don't know if uh, a lot of you have been keeping up with some of my my boxes. Oh yeah, I was going to be saying in comments. Uh, but I've had really bad luck with some of them. Um, Portal of Sanctuary. Imperium Eagle. A Vengeful War Chief. And our rare is Voracious Hydra. This is actually a really good card. Um, it's going to see play in green. I know it will. Uh, double the number of counters that you put on it. So if you cast it for four, it's a 4-4 four, four, uh, with Trample. That ain't bad. Uh, or you can have it fight stuff. This with the other sh uh, Hydra that makes it cost four less. Uh, phew, it's an 8-8 eight, eight for two mana if you have the other one out. That's not bad. Uh, then we got an Elemental Hooken. I really like the tokens in this set. Really like it. Alright. Let's see if we can pull another Mythic Chandra like that. Gosh. Maybe this is going to be a really busted box. That'd be nice. I could use a busted box. Like, my luck um, has been just really, really bad in box openings. So, hopefully, maybe this is a change. Blood for Bones. Noxious, well, if I can put it under the camera, Noxious Grasp, Bark Hide Troll, with, ah, Leyline of Sanctity, nice, uh, four drop, if Leyline of Sanctity is uh, in your hand at the beginning of the game, you can put it on the play, you have X proof, nice, let's, uh, let's pull about three more of these, that'll be a good day, that's, that's well welcomed. I'm really glad they reprinted. Ah, the Johnny token. I knew they was gonna reprint the ley lines once I seen the uh, that creature that had ley line in the last set. I think it was not War of the Spark, but um, I think it was one of the guild sets. Huh. Uh, Got to get into that pack. Um, I knew they was gonna reprint them, but I had no idea that it was gonna be in a standard set. Well, guys, I'm just trying to. Uh, Find a good, comfortable way to do this. Okay. It's called sitting down, dummy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Man, I'm just so excited. All right, I don't want to skip too much. Uh, like I said, I want to kind of go over as much as I can with you. Uh, Howling Giant. Uh, Unchained Berserker. Ember Hauler. Uh, I really like that as a reprint. I feel like this is still thick, so we might got have a... Uh, Foil rare. Uh, Dungeon Geist. Uh, this is a reprint from back in the day. It's a uh, two and two blue. Flying when it enters the battlefield. Um, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step for as long as you control Dungeon Geist with a foil swamp. Foil swamp. Get out of my swamp. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, Shrekky lands. All right. It'd be a little cooler, but I mean, the land packs that come in the fat pack, uh, they they come with, uh, I think, one of each land and their foil as well. I can keep trees in it. Uh, how do you guys like the new cardstock? Uh, it's definitely a new feel. It's definitely different. Um, not too different, though. Creeping Trailblazer. Gauntlets of Light. Risen Reef with our rare being a Wakerud Elemental. Oh, Elemental. Six drop, four and two green for a five five. You can pay five green, untap target land you control. It becomes a five five elemental creature with haste. It still is a land. It's not bad. Uh, if, I, if I was building green, I would probably be tickled to death because getting the Hydra and getting that, um, I think on the arena, that's what uh, they have. Hold on one second, guys. I'm going to switch out chairs here. I'm just trying to find something good that uh, works for me. 
Uh, I was sitting on a stool, and the stool was really good because I could see my camera, but it's really, really bad because I also can't uh, sit down and kind of relax and really enjoy this with you guys. So we haven't got any other mythics so far, except for our Shonder, so I'm not gonna complain there. Oh, sorry for the squeaky guys. All right. All right, this is this is a lot better for me. I'm a lot more comfortable. Let's really, really get in this and enjoy this together. Ah, murder got reprinted. That's good. Uh, I'm still kind of fresh to a lot of these. Um, I haven't got to really look too much at it. Just been really busy here lately. Uh, Meteor Golem. This is good in a draft. Enters the battlefield. Destroy target non-land permanent opponent controls. Pulse of Marasa. I think that's how it's spelled. Uh, Spectral Sailor. Uh, this card here is seen in play with our rare being. An Johnny Strength of the Pride. Is this a Planeswalker box? Uh, first Mythic is a Chandra. Second box is a Johnny Strength of the Pride. Um, yes, please. I'll take two. Oh my gosh. Uh, I am tickled to death. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, participating in this. Oh, I'm glad I don't sending this to no patron. Oh, look at that. Oh, just look at that. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's really nice. Uh, I'm okay with this being a Planeswalker box. Is this a theme? Um, I don't know, but so far our mythics are the ones you want. So I, I'm okay with this. I'm tickled to death. I've got a Leyline, I've got a Johnny. This is, this so far, hang with me guys. This ride ain't even over. We ain't even halfway through the box yet. I see a lot of uh, reprints and honestly it's taking me back. It's taking me back to the good old days. Blood for Bones. Spectral Sailor. Salvager of Ruins with our rare being repeated reverberation. I remember just regular reverberation. It was good. Uh, two and two red whenever you when you next cast an instant spell. Cast a sorcery spell or activate a loyalty ability this turn. Copy that spell or ability twice. You may choose new targets for the copies. Mmm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Zombie. Oh man. I don't know if you guys can see this. That's got some damage. That is a little bit damaged. Uh, I'm fine with the token being damaged as long as the planeswalkers aren't damaged. And with the way we're going, we might see Soren. Uh, I'm perfectly fine if we do. I will gladly welcome him into my room. I think he's like the second most expensive one. Okay. Wolf Ride Saddle. Yark's Wave Crasher. Diamond Knight with a Agent of Treachery. Five, six, seven. Five and two blue for a two, three. When it enters the battlefield, gain control of target permanent. At the beginning of your end step, if you control three or more permanents, you don't control. Draw three cards. I think this right here is gonna be really good with Dead Eye Navigator. Just put them together, flicker them a couple times. Uh, as long as you got two mana, you're gaining control of someone's stuff. Ooh, a Mu Yangling Sky Dancer. Is this a hint? Is this something we might be seeing in the set here? Uh, I mean, I'm okay with it if you guys are. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Moving right along here. That's a good card. All right, enter our uncommons. Meteor going. We have a York's Finglurker, a Woodland Champion, with a Elvish Reclaimer. This is good. This is really, really good. Uh, I like this card, a one, two for one. Elvish Reclaimer gets two, two, as long as there are three more lands in your graveyard. You can pay two, sacrifice land, search the library for a land, put it on the battlefield tab, 
then show for your library. This and Elf Commander. Guys, take a little bit closer of a look at this. Okay, this and Elf Commander is gonna be busted. Let me sacrifice my forest to go get a Gaia's Cradle. Let me uh, let me go get any real, a Nikta Shrine. Um, that is awesome, and it's a one drop. Um, that's gonna see play. That is gonna see play. I, I'm okay with that. So far, it's a good keep, good keep. Mm, I just it's something about cracking new packs. It just really gets you just oh man, and the ink does have a smell. Oh, it does. It's, I'll tell you what, if we could just bottle up the ink and cologne it, I mean, they would sell so much of it. It would, it would become like a, 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 a what is it called? A nicotine patch for uh, for magic players. We just, just scratch it when we want a pack. A loyal Pegasus. A lot of people say they're happy to see that come back in my little local group. Gruesome Scorger. Apostle of Purifying Light with a masterful replication. Uh, five and a blue. Choose one. Create two. Three three golem artifact creature tokens. Choose a target artifact you control. Each other artifact you control becomes a copy of that artifact until the end of turn. Uh, this with walking ballista seems good. Uh, that with, uh, oh, what's that one? The worm looks good. Ew, look at the demon on this. Look at that. Take, take a close look here, guys. Uh, that, that demon's got some bling. He's got some bling. Now, from what I can tell, those are bones. Those are some blingy bones. Mr. Bones. I know a guy named Bones. Crazy old fella. Crazy old fella. He used to run down the kids in the parking lot. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Guys, uh, here's something else for you. Don't forget to buy from your local game shop, uh, support them, and be aware from buying packs from Walmart because people will go and resell them back to the shop. Uh, and down here at the bottom, you'll see this really flat. I don't know if it happens to many of you. I've seen it happen to a good buddy of mine, and uh, it really sucks when you get taken for a ride. So just buyers beware. Uh, flame Sweep. Tombbound Lich. Dragon Maj and a Steel Overseer. I will take it. This makes number two for me so far. Um, I need two more. Let's keep them going with a foil. Plummet. That's all right. Destroy target creature with flying. That's the thing. If you've got a really nice flyer, don't let them use this on you. Just equip it with the hammer. You'll be fine. Still overseas, really good pull. Um, before the reprint, I think it was like 20, 20 ish dollars, and I really thought about picking some up just because they're good and just never had the extra cash to do so. And then Wizards was like, hey, look, we know you want them, so here's a reprint. Pick them up for like two bucks a piece. Um, I strongly suggest picking some up and just sitting on them uh, because they're going to go back up. Uh, they're played in modern already. Um, the older ones are still holding value around like 12 or 15. So pick some up. Give them to me. Howling Giant. Oh! Ember Hauler. Really good goblin. Uh, work with me on this, guys. Uh, this, this is a weird name. Cerulean Drake. I'm going to say that, that was right. Uh, protection from red. Protection is back. And Golas Tireless Pilgrim. This card I'm a little iffy on. Five colorless for a 3-5. So I can't play it unless I'm playing it in a five color commander. Um, enters the battlefield. You may search the library for a land card. That's pretty good because it's not basic land. It's just a land card. Put that onto the battlefield tap and then shuffle your library. So that's cool. You can pay five and two. Exile top three cards of your library. You may play them this turn without paying their mana cost. That. That is what you're going to see. You're going to see a lot of people abusing that ability. Because you put this in something like dragons. You put this in slivers. They're going to get ridiculous. Um, it's, it's just going to be bonkers. That's uh, that's pretty good. Oh, and guys, don't forget, this is legendary. So, you know what that means. Out comes the protective sleeve of legendary. This will be going in the legendary binder as another part of the collection. 
Very nice. Very nice. Oh yeah, guys, if you're in my playgroup and you see me running these, they, don't worry about it. They're the normal Johnny. I'll put the mana symbol up there. Oh, that's, that's so good. I love the artwork on uh, the token. Honestly, give me that artwork on the next uh, Johnny Prodmy reprint. I'll be happy with that. Will you be happy with that? I will. So that's okay. This feels thick. Maybe I got a foil. Honestly, I don't feel like I've seen many foils for the foil increase to go like one in three packs. Uh, let me just check here. Uh, token, land, foil, rare, one, two, three. Okay, so we do have a foil in this pack. Uh, Master Splicer. Cerulean Drake. Diamond Knight. And a Knight of the Abound Legend. I've been playing this card in Arena, and honestly, I think it's busted. I really like it. It's a one for a one two. You can pay three to pump it. Um, gives it plus three three and death touch until the end turn. At the beginning of your end step, if a player lost four more life this turn, put a one one counter on it. So think of this. You pump it once, he deals the four damage by himself, he gets the counter. That's awesome. I think this is a really good card. I'd like to pick up a few more of them. Oh! Oh, look at there! Oh, it's a foil legendary. That is, uh, that's our foil rare for this box. That is Villis, Broker of Blood. It is a eight drop for an eight eight flyer. Pay two life for one black. Target creature gets minus one, minus one to the turn. When you lose life, draw that many cards. This, in my opinion, is better than Erebos, God of the Dead. Um, I mean, yeah, it costs a little bit more, but it's flyer. You pay two life for one black. You're gonna kill something, and you get to draw two cards. Think about this. Whenever you lose life, draw that many cards. Tap. Um, tap your pain lands. You know, I'm going to tap this, get a black mana, because I lost a life for tapping a land for mana, I'm going to get to draw a card. So no longer um, are you hurt by like um, City of Brass and, and stuff like that that pains you. Now you're just pinging yourself to draw a card. I think this card is busted. And you know where this is going? In Kalia. This is going in the Kalia deck. And because of its legendary ability, we're gonna put it in a sleeve. Oh yeah. So that's that's really nice. I'm, I'm okay with that pull. I'm perfectly fine with it. It's not a foil Chandra, but it is a foil demon and I will take it. Um, and of course, Knight of Ebon Legion is really good. I, I tell you what, I love to death the person that picked me out this box. I love them to death. This has been a really good box for me. And we're still not done, guys. The, the fun train keeps going on. Was that demon a myth? That wasn't even a mythic. Uh, I mean, that's, that's still really, really good. Um, I think that demon's gonna go up in value. If not for standard, it'll be for commander. Um, do I think it has a home in standard? I don't know. Uh, commander definitely has a home in standard. It's like your Gristle brand, but it's good. I mean, you're, you're paying life to draw, but now you can just, it's, I think it's really good. Colossal Hammer, Season of Growth. Devote, devout, decree. Uh, I actually like this card. Let's take a second and look at it. Uh, two for a sorcery, exile target creature or planeswalker that's black or red. Scry one. I think the scry is really good. If they made this instant though, I'd be tickled to death. Oh, and we got the blue ley line. Two and two blue. All of your stuff has flash. If this isn't in your opening hand, you may put it into play at the beginning of the game. Oh my god! That's oh, and we got another foil. And the foil is not important. Uh, Light line of anticipation. This is really good in commander. I think you're gonna see a lot of really good stuff. Maybe in standard, seeing this, that's not bad. I will take it gladly. Take it gladly. 
Okay, we still need, what do we need? What do we need? We need three more white ley lines, uh, which ain't gonna happen. We need foil plane blockers, which ain't gonna happen. Um, what else, do, what else, what else? Uh, we need the other planeswalkers, honestly. I, I need some other planeswalkers. Uh, I need some more legendary good stuff. Okay, Brineborn Cutthroat. Cryptic Caves. Thought Distortion. I wish this card cost less, but I fully understand um, why it costs so much. Target opponent reveals their hand. Exile non-creature non-land cards from that player's hand. And Graveyard Commander, maybe. With a Glint Horn Buccaneer. Three drop for a two, four with haste. Whenever you discard a card, uh, he deals one damage to each opponent. Pay two, discard card, draw a card. Activate this ability only if he is attacking. Okay, I didn't even know this was a card. Um, I think it's good. I think you could see like a black red build with this and the dinosaur. Okay, hold on guys. I am seeing double here. Um, Glint Horn Buccaneer. Glint Horn Buccaneer. Huh. How many times do you see that? Um, so I guess if one ain't enough, twice is nice. Uh, which that makes our second foil rare in this set. I, I can't complain. But that is odd. That is odd though, don't you think? Huh. Well, look at that. Uh, then our zombie token, man. I tell you what, zombies are rough, but man, they're rough on the tokens. But I guess I'd rather them be rough on the tokens than uh, on the regular cards. But guys, Glinthorn on Glinthorn, two foil rares, a Chandra, a Johnny, white ley lines. Come on, guys, can this box get any better? And we're still not done. We are still going strong. Got a raging earth. Uh, ah, yep, I've done blue. Joke's gone. Uh, it was there. Unchained Berserker. Herald of the Sun. A noxious grasp with a dungeon geist. I've pulled three of these guys so far. Is this telling me to build this? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't want to build it. I mean, if that was any other rare, I kind of would have been okay. It's like first one, it's like, all right, yeah, sure, sure, I, I see it. But I mean, for the size of the set, and I've pulled three, two out of this, and one out of a fat pack, come on. I don't want any more dungeon guys. I don't think it was heavily played back then. Um, I don't think it's gonna be heavily played now, but we also didn't have the spirit or the blue white flyers like we did back then. So I don't know, maybe it'll see play. Pulse of Marasa, hard cover. We're not talking about the book. Moldervine Reclamation, whenever a creature you control dies, you gain one life and draw a card with Ba ba ba! The green ley line. Oh, that's that's blue, red. No, oh, no, blue, red, green, and white. We've got four of the ley lines. Oh, we got a foil forest. Okay, back to the ley line. So, two and two green. Uh, if it's in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. When you tap a creature for mana, add an additional green. Six and two, put a one one counter on each creature you control. Keep in mind here, that isn't a tap ability. That's, you can sink the mana into it, boom. This is really good, I like this. Where do I see this being played at? I see it being played in Elf Tribal. Maybe Modern Elf, maybe this is the thing to get Modern Elf going. Um, I see this in, um, oh, a Tooth and Nail decks. I see this in Commander. I see this going a lot of places, guys. I'm just saying. And it's taking the forest along with it. And a treasure token. Man, my tokens are just getting beat up. They're being brutally assassinated. But I'm okay with that. I mean, you can give me a box full of shredded tokens, even if I do like them as much as I am. But goodness, just keep up 
the rare train. I mean, even, like I said before, I don't know a lot of the values on these cards, but I'm just tickled to death with some of the pulls that I'm getting. I, I'm just, I'm happy. I, I just couldn't have it, and we're still not done. Lightning Stormkin. This reminds me a lot of a card in Oath of the Gatewatch. I think it was Oath of the Gatewatch. Yeah, I'm going to say Oath of the Gatewatch. Um, except for it was a 1-3 with prowess, haste, and flying. Um, so this, I guess, is like their little dulled down version. Elementary Wizard. I see this scene playing. Angel of Vitality. Bloodthirsty Aerialist with a... Chandra's Regulator. Uh, it's a two-drop legendary artifact. Whenever you activate a loyalty ability of a Chandra Planeswalker, you may pay one. If you do copy that ability, you may choose new targets for the copy. Pay one. Discard a mountain card or a red card. Draw a card. Hmm. Very nice. Ooh, we have a foil Diviner's Lockbox. Four. Pay one, choose a card name, then reveal the top card of your library. If that card has the chosen name, sacrifice this and draw three cards. Act for this ability only anytime you can. A sorcery. I see this seeing most play in Commander because you have Sensei's Dividing Top, but we also have the Scry Lands, so I could see this seeing some, uh, but the four on the top just seems like a lot to me. Um, but let's not forget this is a legendary so it gets the sleeve treatment bum 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 guys it's been a long day thanks for hanging with me uh, and going through the emotions right now I'm on an emotional roller coaster and I'm at the peak let's see if we can keep this ride going all right, act of treason, no, squad captain. Oh yeah, why am I naming all these? These are the ones we don't care about. We want the good stuff, where is it? Oh, here we are, let's talk about God willing. I know a guy out there that loves this card, you know who I'm talking about, and I'm one of those guys. One drop, target creature you control, games protection from the color of your choice until the end of turn. Reminder text, it can't be blocked, targeted, Dealt damage, enchanted, or equipped by anything of that color. And you get to scry one. Oh my, so much flavor. Vampire of the Dire Moon, one drop, one, one, death touch, and lifelink. Oh my gosh. Aether Gust with a rare. Kethis, the hidden hand. Black, white, and a green. Legendary spells you cast cost one less to cast. Exile two legendary cards from your graveyard until the end of turn. Each legendary card in your graveyard gains. You may play this card from your graveyard. This is a commander thing. I don't know if it's like, oh, this will be good and standard. This is commander. Think about it. Legendaries and commander, you only need one of each card. You run each of these, and I love how it says you may play um, the card from your graveyard because you do have legendary lands that you can hit. That's exactly what this is for, and that's exactly where it's going. With enough wolf token, mm, excuse me. And it's legendary, so it's getting the legendary treatment. Oh, oh, and that's a mythic. Oh, let's, let's not forget that. So that's our third mythic so far for the box. I don't know his value, but I needed him, and I got him. I got the little bugger. On to the next pack, shall we? I tell you what, every time I look at this pack, I feel like she's got like a bullet in her head or something, but it's just like a crown. It's just like a little a little head piece, I guess you could say. Wee, 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 all the way to the uncommons, because that's what people want to see. Cryptic Caves. Sacrifice card to cage, drop the card, activate the ability only if you control five more lands. So wait a minute. Pay one, sack this, draw a card, actually This is a horizon land. It's a colorless horizon land. If you think about it, all of your horizon lands 
tap for colorless, or you can pay a life to tap it for one of each color. Uh, this right here, you don't have to pay the life, and you're still paying one second draw card, um, but it has the setback of five more lands. That's exactly what that is. Uh, one drop, green, instant, vial of summer, manifold key, this is a good card. Commander players, check it out. With a rare, Bishop of Wings, two white for a 1-4. Whenever an angel enters the battlefield under your control, you gain four life. When an angel you control dies, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Do I hear Geist the Saint Traftix? I don't know. Maybe I'm just hearing things. You know how I am. Big Red be crazy. Crazy about you, baby. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Oh, man, I'm running out of room. All right, let's keep it going. Come on, come on, you dirty pack. Usually when they're hard like that to open in my mind, I keep telling myself, oh, that's a hard pack to open. That means it's gonna be a great pack. Let's see if that holds true. Is this gonna be, oh, yeah, okay, puppy. It's a three for a zero one and you get a two, two. If anyone kills this, you're a bad person. Okay, on to our uncommons. Air Elemental, five for four, four flyer. Bloodthirsty Aerialist, three for two, three flying. Whenever you gain life, put one counter on it. Five for Overcome, creature you control, get two, two, and trample. With a Rotting Regis Sword. This card has been getting so much talk. Three drop for a seven, six at the beginning of your upkeep. Discard a card. Now that's a zombie. That's not a zombie, that's a zombie. And a foil fairy miscreant. One drop flying enters the battlefield if you control another creature named fairy miscreant, draw a card. Blue flyers, that's gonna be a thing. Blue flyers, keep a thing. I like this card a lot. Will I run it? I don't know, it's super good. Throw it in a madness deck. That's where it belongs. It's like, oh, I'm gonna discard a card. Bullet you, discard it, draw cards. I think it could be good. I feel like it should be three color deck though. I think that's that's where it belongs in a three color deck. Am I wrong? Am I right? Guys, work with me here. Give me some stuff. It's okay. You can tell me I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's all right. I'll go to crazy town with you. All right, here we go. Blight Beetle, two drop for a one one pro green creatures your opponents control. Can't have one one counters on it. Who knew a beetle would kill a hydra? You play this beetle. No more hundreds. Iron Root Warlord, three for a star five. With other abilities. Thought Distortion, a really good card. And a Embodiment of Agonies, three drop for a zero zero flying death touch. And when it enters the battlefield with one one counter on it for each different mana cost among non land cards in your graveyard. Can I hear a judge? What? What? This is going to be one of those cards. Every time someone plays it, they're going to call judge. Because here's the thing. It says, for example, two and a black and one and a black black are different mana cost. That's the thing. Each one, basically, the way I understand it, if the mana cost aren't the same, they're different. And what I mean by that is if I see two cards in your graveyard that's two black and one, that's the same. But if I see one black red and one black black, those are different. So just be open-minded because a lot of us think cards are a lot more broken than they are, but this one is a broken card for what it is. Where am I gonna see you play in it? Every deck imaginable. Uh-oh, I feel a foil. Yarks, Finn Lurker. Wow, that got so much more hype than it needed. But this is cool. I like the demon. I like this card. I think it's great. I think I might hold on to it and find somewhere for it to play. Oh, there's another Chandra emblem. I wonder if we're going to pull a Chandra. Ha! Huh? Good stuff. Makes like a third Chandra emblem I got. Well, I guess I needed a third one because in a game of Commander, um, you kind of need it because everyone's going to get that emblem. Or Oathbreaker, honestly. Uh, I think it'd be really good in Oathbreaker. Is Oathbreaker a thing? Does people still play Oathbreaker? Am I hauling behind on the times? I don't know. Rapacious Dragon. Fencing Ace. Oh, I want this card to be so good. 
put this oh yeah that's good you put uh, the one drop uh, what's her name grace on the field then turn two you play this and turn three you swing a one one uh, with double strike they let it go through you play the equipment and it becomes a 10 10 or no 11 11 with double strike game over turn three overgrown elemental and a scheming symmetry oh my gosh can this box get any better one drop sorcery choose two target players each of them searches their library for a card then shuffle their libraries and put that card on top this is a vampiric tutor if i ever seen one but you take away the instant you take away the life loss and you give someone else stuff this is going to be oh my gosh because in commander politics is where it's at this is politics all over again i go get a card i want you go get your counter spell i cast my card you counter it it's a good day or maybe you go get something good i mill you away i don't know this is a good card i plan on running it in commander what is this commander m20 can i get a what what someone out there just went what what and i love you for it oh man this box goes on and on all right this should be art for a new goblin grenade. Just saying. Raise the alarm and negate it. Oh, sad days. You ever just went through the cards and made a story out of each card? It's captivating, isn't it? It's so captivating. Muldervine Reclamation. I like the art on it. Scampering Scorcher. I like the art on that too. With a Mystic Forge, four drop, you may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may cast the top card of your library if it's an artifact, card, or a colorless non-land card. Pay one life, exile the top card of your library, and tap this. I think this is good. I think. I, I don't know. I, is it good? Is it bad? I'm gonna say it's good. I'm, I'm gonna go with good. Uh, I'm gonna stick with my gut on this. My gut says it's good. I think it's good. I'm gonna run it in an artifact build. That's what it is. Keep this in mind, I'm a very big commander player. Like, commander is my life. And it's been killing me. I wanna build so many different commander decks right now. It makes me sick. And with a new commander set coming out here in about a month, I'm really trying to hold myself back and be like, hold on, you know, good things are coming. Uh, I just gotta wait for it. It's like I can eat a cookie now, or I can eat the pie when it gets here. All right. Starting, we have a Chandra Novice Pyromancer. Four drop for a five. Elemental creatures you control get 2 0 until the end of the turn. Or elementals you control. It doesn't say creatures. I wonder why it just says elementals. Minus one, add two red mana. That seems redundant. Pay four to get two back. I don't know. Uh, or she does two damage to any target. She's not bad. Eternal Isolation. Scampering Scorcher with a rare. Legion's End. Two, one out of black. Exile target creature and opponent controls with converted mana cost two or less and all other creatures that player controls with the same name as that card. Then that player reveals their hand and exiles all cards with that name from their hand and graveyard. Well, if you can take a look at your opponent's hand and see what they got, it's probably... No. No, 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 no. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I didn't see it. I did not just see what I just see. <coughs> no. No, no, no. Okay. Now, okay, I'm going to stand up for this one. I'm making sure it's on the camera. Okay. Guys, you see me open this. <sighs> We're going to go real nice and slow. It's red. It's a planeswalker. That's a six loyalty. Is it... so good oh guys oh that oh my goodness oh 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 there it was oh hold on oh let me get a sleeve for this oh my goodness oh my goodness yes we'll stick that oh man happy birthday to me two foil rares and a foil mythic 
and it's a Chandra Awakening Inferno. This is the most expensive card in the set. Let's get the sisters together. Come here, girls. Come here. Oh, oh, that is beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, that was nice, guys. I'm so glad I got to share that with everybody. I'm so glad it was it was on camera. This has been such an amazing box. Oh my goodness. I don't even care about this Legion end anymore. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for you guys to see this video. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know if I can go on. I, <laughs> I don't know if I can. You, you just can't top that. I mean, this is amazing. I, oh, oh, so good. Oh man, guys, you do not know the excitement level that I am going through right now. Oh, I, I'm about to die. I mean, oh, oh, oh. all right, let's let's keep it cool, James. You got to be cool about this. You know, you're a cool guy. We, we got to get through the rest of these. We got one, two, three, four, five crap packs to get through because I mean, we're not going to pull better. I mean, there's there's no way. Air elemental four four flying five. Uh, Goblin Ringleader, great card. I run it in Commander for combos. Um, he's wonderful. I'm glad to see him in Modern. Uh, Scuttlemutt looks like our rare is going to be a land. We have the Temple of Triumph, the red, white one. I was wondering. I wasn't for sure if that one was in this set or not. Um, I like the art. The art looks good. Oh, but that Chandra. Anyways. Come on, James. Let's stick it together. We're almost through it. I know, but let's 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 just one more. Oh, just one more little bit. Oh, oh, guys. Oh man. I tell you what. I'm really glad I got that on uh, camera. I'm gonna watch that back like 15 times tonight. Oh man. It. I tell you what. It is about time. Uh, it's about time. I'm just gonna put it that way. Oh man. All right, let's talk about our boy here. Orc Siege Breaker, two, a black and a red for a four, three. Destroy target creature that was dealt damage this turn. Now, if we really think about this, this is really good. In this kind of deck, I mean, we can shock something and do this. Yeah, it's five mana to kill something, but we can do this over and over and over and over again. If if we've got anything that can ping something or poke at something, and in Commander, uh, you, I mean, yes, I know it's a standard set. Let's quit talking about Commander, but that's where my heart is, guys. It, at least this is a different perspective. You're not getting a standard player or a modern player. You're getting a Commander player's point of view from this set, and this is the set. Um, so this right here is such a good, I mean, if you're playing in a pod, someone swings or some blockers or whatever, and they block with a big creature, this guy right here is going to put pressure on the board. And for an uncommon, I think it's great. I really do. Uh, Captivating Gyre, a Diviner's Lockbox, and our rare is a Red Ley Line. Very nice. It's uh, the second one. I'll take it. And we have a Foil Destructive Digger. Two and a red, pay three, sacrifice an artifact, or land, draw a card for three, two with a land and a soldier. Ah, oh, yes, ley lines. I love ley lines. I think, honestly, um, I, and I, I could be wrong, guys. Hear me out. I think this is good. I think it's better than a lot of people are giving it credit for. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe old Big Red, he's just not played enough. He's not, he's not in the loop. Um, but I, I think it's good. I really think it's good. And the right matchup against like Mill, uh, things that like to poke at your hand and make you discard stuff and uh, I burn matchups and stuff like that. I think it's, uh, whoops, I threw my trash right on the floor. So I gotta pick it up real quick. Otherwise my woman will beat me. Uh, but anyways, I, th I think it's good. I really, really do. All right, let's get to the uncommons. Fry, I love me some fried chicken. Blood-soaked altar. 
four and two black, pay two life, discard a card, sacrifice a creature, create a five five black demon creature token with fly. Activate this ability only any time you can cast a sorcery. Do I hear commander? Put this with that one demon, you pay two life, you draw two cards, you discard a card, sacrifice a creature. Uh, there's, there's a lot of weird sides to that. Season of Growth. And a Chandra. A Collite of Flames. Oh, goodness. Did We got a Chandra box. I tell you, uh, let's let's get a family photo real quick, guys. Let's let's get a family photo, okay? We have, okay, we have baby Chandra. We have Chandra Acolyte of Flame. We have Chandra Awaken Inferno, and we have a foil Chandra Awaken Inferno. We have the whole family. Welcome home, gals. Welcome home. I will take that. And that's the thing. We still have more packs. I feel like I've opened 50 packs already. I honestly really do. And I'm tickled to death. I couldn't be happier. Uh, what a way to end the day. I tell you what. Uh, I tell you what. This is this is just the best. Uh, whoo. Man. Hey, wait a minute. This guy has a necklace of bones that demon token was wearing that necklace immigrant smarts none of it matters unless you have the nerve to use it huh maybe there's a connection i don't know i don't know i'm just your every average day normal player angel of vitality wait a minute that's the angel this time a three drop for a two two flying if you gain life you gain that much life. It gets 2-2 two -two as long as your life total is 25 or more. That's pretty good in a game of Commander. You get a 4-4 four, four Flying Angel that, you know, adds more life. That ain't bad. Vial of Summer for one. Rule of Life. Well, this is the first Rule of Life. I forgot about this card even being in the set. Um, three drop. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. Uh, I've not seen a whole lot of these. I, I welcome it. I play it in Commander occasionally. I think it's a great card. Um, nice to see it. With I've not seen none of these either. Um, Cavalier of Gales, three blue and two colorless. Um, flying enters the battlefield, draw three cards, then put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. Whenever it dies, shuffle it into someone's library, then scry two. Um, Guys, we're doing great on our mythics. This box is crazy. Um, I think this guy's really good. I think he's gonna see some standard play. Uh, I really, really do. I think he's, I think he's good. Uh, and I haven't seen the, the the knights. I haven't seen the black knight, the the red knight. I haven't seen none of the knights. That's the first knight I've seen. Unless I look outside. <laughs> oh gosh. So that's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five. Five, well, technically four mythics and a foil, a foil mythic, uh, two foil rares. I mean, I mean, I'm all right with it. This, this is the box. This is the box. All right, come on. Warden of Evo's Isle, Ancestral Blade. I'm gonna read this card. Enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 white soldier creature and then attach it. That's kind of cool. Corpse Knight. Uh, I, I can't remember if I did it in this video or last video, but keep an eye on the power and toughness of this card. It, this one's a 2 2, so mine's fine. Uh, but in some versions, they accidentally printed it as a 2 3, and it's messed up. There's a big deal on it online. Uh, got Temple of Epiphany. Awesome. Uh, red, blue, scry tip, uh, temple. Not bad. So, but yeah, keep an eye on that. Um, I'd say it's gonna have some kind of value to it. Um, but you know, you never know. All right, guys, we've had a crazy ride. Uh, I mean, if we've had a roller coaster of emotions, I think this has been the best box I've pulled in a long time and I've opened some master boxes. This is the last pack. This is it. This is the end of this emotional ride. Thank you guys for riding with me. Let's uh, let's see where this takes us. 
It takes us to a card that teaches us how to play magic. That is this whole pack. It's just cards that teaches us where to put our stuff. All right, here we go. We're gonna slow this last round, last one to try to kind of calm us down. Whenever you're running a full sprint marathon, you don't just stop when you're done. You gotta slow it down. Slow it down. Oh yeah. Got some goblet stuff. Mmm, vampires suck. It's a good movie, by the way. You should watch it. Feral Invocations. Sleep Paralysis. He old one drop zero four ox. Some more goblin goodness. A bird with flying. Silverback Shaman. This is a good card. People talked about it. Now we're in our uncommon. Scholar of Ages. Disfigure. Shanja Spitfire. A zombie token. Uh oh. Is there. No, there's no foil on this one. And our last, but not least, probably at least, is a white hanged executioner. Whew. Three drop, one one flyer. When well, here's the battlefield, create a one one white spirit creature token flying. Pay for exile hanged executioner, exile target creature. Oh boy, <laughs> guys, let's review, <laughs> shall we? Uh, I, I think we need to review. Um, let's take a look at what we got. So, we got, let's, I'm gonna stand up, that way I can get a closer shot for you guys. See, I, I do this for you guys. I'm doing, I'm doing all this exercise for you. We have Temple of Epiphany. We have Chandra, Acolyte of Flame, a Red Ley Line, a Scryland, Legion's End, Mystic Forge, Scheming Symmetry, Embodiment of Agonies, Rotting Rigasaur, Bishop of Wings, Chandra's Regulator, Leyline of Abundance, a Dungeon Geist, our Glint Horn Buccaneer, a Foil Glint Hunt Buccaneer, a Blue Leyline, a Knight of the Ebon Legions, a Villas Broker of Blood Foil Rare, a Gallus Tireless Pilgrim, a Steel Overseer, a Masterful Replication, a Elvish Reclaimer, Agent of Treachery, Repeated Reverberation, another Dungeon Geist, a Wakeroot Elemental, a White Leyline of Sanctity, Ferocious Hydra, Flood of Tears, Tales End, Temple of Mystery, Field of the Dead, Dread Presence. That was our rare pile. Now on to our mythics. We have Cavalier of Gals, or Cavalier of Gals. We have Chandra, the Awakened Inferno. We have Kethis, the Hidden Hand. We have Johnny, Strength of the Pride. Then we have our Bio Box promo. And then we have the much anticipated, much loved, much thought after Chandra Awakened Inferno Foil Edition. Whew. Guys, thank you for joining me on this journey.